In this video, I'll show you how to generate expressions in UiPath Studio using Autopilot. It's going to be a quick one. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are inside of Studio. I have an empty sequence here. Inside that sequence, I'm going to click the little plus icon. And then in the search field, I'm going to type in assign, hit enter, and that will add an assign activity to that sequence. In that assign activity, we have the save to field. And in that save to field, I'm going to press control K. That will create a new variable when I type in the name. And I'll just type in my variable as the name of the variable. And you can see down here in the variables pane, it created a new variable of type string. And then the value to save in that variable is going to where things start to get a little bit more fun because if we click the plus sign and then open the advanced editor, then we can see here down at the bottom that we have this uh, new autopilot text field. Describe your expression in natural language. And this is where you want to write out what it is you're trying to generate an expression for. So in this example, I'm just going to write tomorrow's date formatted as June 25th, 2024. Oh wait, it's it's not June 25th, it's July 26th. I'm a month off. That's how it goes. Okay, so back to studio. I'll click the uh, autopilot button over here, and that's now going to uh, generate an expression that hopefully gives us what we want. And when I say hopefully, yeah, I can read the expression here. I understand it, and yeah, it looks like it's actually going to give me exactly what I want. But what if I wanted to do something a little bit more advanced and I wanted to test it? For example, Get the name of a brand, random week day, and then press the uh, autopilot button. It's going to get pretty close to what it is I want, but I can't really test it, and I'd like to do that. Well, the trick there is to, instead of using UiPath Studio for desktop, for this isolated sort of activity, we want to go into Studio Web because Studio Web has a slight edge over Studio Desktop with regards to generating expressions from text. Let's uh, try and have a look. So I'm in my uh, default environment here. This is a community edition. It's free. You can use it, just not commercially. Um, but I will go into Studio. I'll create a new project. And that's just going to be a manual automation, meaning that it's going to be triggered manually by me when, when I want to run this automation. I'm not even going to run it, so I don't care. And here I will, as the first thing in my automation, I will add a set variable value activity. That will set a value to a variable. So I'll want to create a variable by clicking create variable in the uh, two variable uh, text box. And we will call it, instead of two variable, I'll call it my variable as we did in the desktop edition. Click create, and now we have a variable that we can save stuff into. What we want to save into that variable, this is again where we want to play around with the expression editor. So here we have basically the equivalent of what we saw inside of Studio Desktop, except this has a couple of extra features. So if I type in or paste in exactly what I had inside of Studio Desktop and try to generate it, it's going to generate something. I'm not even sure that, yeah, that looks pretty much like it did inside of Studio. And if I want to test it, I can just click the test button up here. And I can see over in the output window here that, you know, you know it, it, it shows me what it thinks I want or the result of the expression. And this is exactly what we were looking for. And even if I made like a mistake and, and put in like an extra parenthesis here, Things are going to light up. The get name function does not support blah, 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 number of uh, arguments and stuff like that. And then we can just click the fix button up here. And it's going to try to then fix the expression. And indeed it did remove that extra parentheses. So now we have an expression we can use. So autopilot can do a lot of things and generating expressions is just one of them. Um, it's, it's pretty good at it. It can get better and it will get better, but I, I really like what they've done so far. Um, I'm going to do a lot of autopilot videos, so make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the little notification bell. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.